because we were involved in Tibet, as you know. We were supplying the Tibetans because they were the only people we ever found that would fight the Chinese in the 50s. Nobody in Taiwan would fight them. Nobody in Korea would fight them. But the Tibetans would if you gave them a flask a day of the Dalai Lama's urine to drink. They would do anything. They would fight. Uh, this was crushed. This was, this was destroyed. But I remember going into, the, into Tibet with George Bush Sr. in 1977. We were taken to the museum. And here was this display of all the arms they captured from CIA, the radios, etc. I was in CIA at the time, so it was a little awkward. But uh, they had a big sign as you entered the museum with Lowell Thomas shaking hands with the representative of the Dalai Lama. And uh, it says, agent of fascist American imperialist clique handing money to Dalai Lama running dog. This is what it says. And so when we got in, Bush said, what the hell did that say? I said, well, not very nice. And uh, he said, ask the Chinese about this, because I'm going to criticize their handling in this, in this, this museum. Of course, you don't criticize museums. That's very unusual. He did. And, he's, and the Chinese, I, I, it was their, their interpreter, I think it was Yang Jiaqiu, came up to me afterwards and said, this is Lowell Thomas's book. He says he was supporting the Dalai Lama in 49. I looked at it, and there it is. So the vice president said, go, the elect said, go see Lowell and find out what he says. And I showed it to him, and he said, well, I gave money, and I damn well do it again. So we, did, we never really pushed the problem to the, give it up, drop it, don't pursue it. The, the other part of the story is I believe that Lowell Thomas spent his honeymoon in Tibet. With his new wife. Yes. And there was okay. lots of jokes about So, I mean, he wasn't just giving money in Tibet. There were other activities that he was involved in. <laughs> we, we, we need to, we need to bring this to a, a close. <laughs> and he had this girl, and, he, and the Chinese and had great humor about this guy consummating his marriage 14,000 feet up. And there was, there was a lot of byplay on this. Well, you know, sometimes, sometimes